Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my worlds, the world away. We now got stage 22 of Hero Collector and Eagle Mosses, build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. <laughs> Now there really isn't a lot to do in this issue. We've got the rear chassis that we're going to be working on. Let's just show you what that looks like in the magazine here. Uh, we've just a massive frame here. And again, this is really heavy. And what I'm going to do at the end of this uh, video, I'm going to actually just put, show you where it goes onto the vehicle. So we don't actually need the vehicle we've been working on at the moment, just to give you an idea of length. Uh, so we're just going to be putting this bracket over the top, which is the battery box frame. Uh, and then we're just going to be putting one of the uh, leveling valves on just this side here. That's all there is to do in this issue. And as you can see, there's nothing else in this pack. Now coming in the next issues, it's probably best to not use this magazine. I'll use the magazine for the next issues. So this is a sneaky peek for you. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is we've got I'll show you the instructions for them actually. The rear chassis and fender liners, that's the uh, first chapter. The front fender liners and radiator we're gonna be doing in the next issues. The horns and the junction box. Finally, we've got the, oh, come down, the control box, battery and oil reservoir. And then in the next issues from 26 onwards, we've got all of those details there. Not quite sure what all of that is. Looks like a lot of pipe work, I don't know make of that as you will now if you want to get hold of this yourself i'll put the link down here it's also in the video description if you're in the us obviously click on the us link and if you're in the uk uh, to click on the uk link and you'll be able to subscribe for this from issue one get your free gifts and stuff like that and you can join me while we do this build and i know the elephant in the room the man cave as you see we're getting there i've put the first lot of shelves up the other shelves are ready to go. Uh, i'm just going to get some shelves today and then these lights that you can see going down here will trail around there as well uh, what we've got, we've got uh, the Ecto one's going to be sitting on that shelf at the moment. But at the end of this video, when you see how long it is, might have to rethink that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get cracking. So quite simply, we're just going to take this frame here, which is the rear chassis frame. I said really heavy, made of metal. Uh, we're not going to be using this for some time after this issue, so we can put this to one side once we finish today. Uh, but we're going to be attaching the battery box frame. Once again, this is metal as well, looking just like that. Probably best on the top camera because it actually shows everything uh, that we've got in this issue in there. Now with the flat side facing down, we're going to be putting these over these two lug holes here. And we're going to be screwing this in. It's going to fit just like that. We're going to be securing this in with EM screws. But I'm just going to drop a little bit of oil into these holes. Like you've seen me do on every episode at the moment. There we go. We'll line that up again. And we'll break open the EM screws. Now these are the only ones that come in this pack. So put them down like that. And we'll get two screws put in here first. Before I do tighten these in, it was worth noticing the back sections here don't actually rest on top. They're going to be going underneath. So when we put it in, we want to make sure that they're underneath this frame here. That's probably an important announcement because you don't want to tighten these things up and then realize that these bits here <laughs> go underneath. Probably better on the close-up camera to show you how that looks. Because in a second, we're going to be turning this piece over and we're going to be attaching them from the underside. So I've just put that in a little bit. I haven't tightened it up too much. But yeah, I'm making a lot of uh, headway with the man cave at the moment. I've already foreseen a problem, which is uh, some, of the <laughs> some of the heat models aren't going to fit on the shelf, but there you go. So that's that side in. Next stage, we're just going to turn it upside down and we're going to put these two sections in here at the back. So once again, it's going to drop some oil in there. And uh, we'll get these screwed in. So, two EM screws for this one as well. Here's the first. Now, I didn't realise the battery box is in the back of the car. Obviously, in newer cars, it's in the engine compartment. Unless this is an additional battery box, I don't know. I don't know how the uh, Cadillacs were, to be honest with you. So, that's that section in, looking just like that on both sides. Now the last thing we're going to do is fit the levelling valve. So if I turn that upside down, you can see on this side here, probably on the close-up camera, we've got a little notch in the metal. This is where this is going to go. And this is what the levelling valve looks like. The longer end is obviously going to face the top of the chassis, so it's going to go in this way. It has actually got a lug just on the top there to locate that. So that's going to go in just like that. Once again, we're going to secure that in with an EM screw. Uh, I'll just drop a little bit of oil in again, because even though 
this leveling valve is plastic it is going into metal so we'll get this screw in just like that and there we go that is the rear chassis section complete now it's probably best on the side camera but if i bring that over i do notice that it's probably going to be going on this way and we've got these two lugs here now it doesn't tell us to do that yet but the only ones that it matches are these two circular ones here and here so if that's the case and that these are going in here kind of like that i'm not going to put them in completely at the moment this gives you an idea of the length of the car so let's get my ruler out and just see if that's confirms with the length that they actually advertise it at. so that's 30 60 i make that actually about 88 centimeters long so that is the whole width of the car and unfortunately there's no way for me to show you that unless you look on you can't really see it on any camera to appreciate how long this is now the shelves that i've got up on the wall there are 600 millimeters so if it's going to sit on the shelf with overhangs i need to be have at least 600 millimeters between the wheels which i think i'm going to have so this will fit on the shelves albeit that the top front and the back of the car is going to be hanging over them uh, but that's all there is to do in that issue so tomorrow we're going to be doing issue 23 and that's going to be the end of the uh, Ghostbusters week because on the weekend we're going to be doing Welcome to the Cave videos. We will do the next lot next week as well but I am aware that we've got a Spitfire to do. We are going to have a Terminator to do. We haven't done any Bismarcks for a while so we're going to do some Bismarcks as well. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe. Other than that take care. Stay safe.